Let's talk about how we can differentiate cosh of ln x. And I'm going to show you guys two ways for this question. The first way is I'm just going to look at this expression and take the derivative of that. And we'll begin by saying, OK, g prime of x. And we'll first ask ourselves, what's the derivative of cosh? And the answer is positive sinh. So we have positive sinh, and the input will stay the same. So we have the ln x inside. But then, because the inside is an ln x, because of the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And the derivative of the inside is 1 over x. So this is what we have. However, we can do more, because sinh is a combination of the exponential functions. Remember, sinh of something is equal to e to that minus e to the negative that over 2. And here we have sinh of ln x. So let's focus on this part, OK? This part is going to give me e to the positive input, which is e to the ln x, OK? The ln x is like my red x right here. And I'm just doing the substitution. ln x into all this red x. We continue, minus e to the negative. That's the second part. And the input is ln x. And we have that all over 2. And we still have this multiplied by 1 over x. Well, what's this? What's e to the ln x? This is very nice. This is just uh, x. But then you cannot just cancel this out at the moment, though. You, what you have to do is this. Negative ln x. We have to clear the coefficients first before we can cancel the e and the ln. So we must take the uh, negative onto the exponent. So this is going to look like this. Let me, let me just write it, down, write it down for you guys. This is, well, let me write it down. e to the ln x minus e to the, bring this to the top. We have ln x to the negative 1 over 2, and then we multiply by 1 over x. Now I can cancel things out. e and the ln will cancel each other out. e and the ln will cancel each other out. And what do we have left? This is just x minus x to the negative 1. This is now uh, negative x. This is x to the negative 1, which is the same as 1 over x. Over 2, and then you multiply by 1 over x still, right? And perhaps I will just put the x down right here with the denominator. And that's what we have. And of course, we can split the fractions. So the first one is going to be x over 2 over x, which we get 1 half. And the second one is going to be subtracting 1 on the top over x over x, right? So you get x squared. So we have 1 over 2x squared. And this right here will be the answer. Anyway, so that was the first way. The first way is just you differentiate whatever you have right away. At the end, you do the algebra. But then, of course, we can also do algebra first and then uh, take the derivative. We will do that. So for the second way, I'm just going to write it down right here. Cosh of ln x. This is the same as plugging ln x into all these red x right here. So we will begin by saying this is the same as e to the ln x plus e to the negative ln x all over 2. And this part is just the same as that one, right? And let me just do this real quick for you guys. This together is going to be x. And this together, remember, you had to bring the negative onto the exponent, and then you can cancel the e and the ln. So we technically have plus x to the negative 1 over 2. This is this g of x in another look. And then, of course, if you differentiate this, the derivative of x over 2 is going to be 1 over half, 1 over 2, I mean. <laughs> and then now you can differentiate x to the negative 1, which you are going to get this as well. And I think I'm just going to leave that to you guys for you guys to do the work. But then this is another way to do it. OK? So whichever way that you like, doesn't matter. This is the final answer that you should end up with. That's it.